probably wondering what's going on. Let me explain. You have a bear trap locked onto your head, ready to rip your jaws apart. You find yourself in this situation because you're a pathetic, useless worm. To escape, you'll have to dig the key out of that guy's stomach. As a social worker, I find that people tend to create obstacles for themselves. They become their own worst enemies, and all that tension builds up inside until they can't hold it in anymore. Get out of here! I gotta drop a deuce! We are working out a domestic issue. Not that it's any of your business. Oh, I just made it my business. And now I'm going to do my business. Oh. <laughs> You have one new message. Uh, hi. I, I found a wallet for one Mark Lilly, and uh, I'm, I'm entering the witness protection program today, so if you're going to want it back, you need to call me immediately at... Message cut off. Inbox is full. Randall, you've got to clear Crystal's message off the machine. No chance. Oh, there should really be a warning on this bag. Old message. 47 minutes. Her phone clearly dialed you by accident. If you fast forward to minute 34, her mumbling has the cadence of someone saying, Randall, I love you. Randall, I love you. Clear as day. She's the girl you went zombie for. I get it. But you have to move on. She has a name. Crystal, with a K. There are lots of other women out there who don't have restraining orders against you. All you have to do to meet them is push that delete button. Not gonna happen. Come on, let's push it together. No! Message erased. Forever. I'm proud of you. Just keep it. <laughs> Everyone, this is Tim. Oh, I thought his name Martin. We're Martin. Do we all look the same to you? Yes. As they should. They're all direct descendants of the original two-headed worm creature, Mitch. Worm creature history is littered with examples of right heads dominating left heads, going all the way back to the great unpaid butler scandal of 1912. In the 50s, left heads suffered the indignity of separate drinking fountains. Then there was the disturbing trend of right heads pimping out left heads. I'm so glad that we work, you know? I know what you're insinuating, but we don't have a problem. That is, if certain heads want to keep their last two teeth. Mm -hmm. I've seen enough. No! I can't make it on my own. Would you give us a minute, please? La, 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 please don't upset him. He's not a merciful la, la, head. La, 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 you need to get away from him, Tim. Listen, I'm late for my psych evaluations, but I'm here for you 24-7, man. You'll get through this. At least leave me the junk. OK, it's time for employee psych evaluations. Let's get started here. Any emotional issues you feel may impact your ability to do your job? The only thing that gets me out of bed is the thought of robbing a bank. Well, as long as it remains a fantasy. It really bothers me that I don't have any girlfriends. I just get along better with guys for some reason. Again, just focused on work issues here. I don't understand today's women. Sure, Megan Fox is handsome enough, but I've never once heard her mention her theories on housekeeping. You know, there are a lot of online dating sites for seniors. Maybe you're right. Septuagenarians have a sexual resume to please me in the sack. And by sack, I mean testicles. I'm very particular about how they're handled. I see. Good to know. Grimes talked about old women handling his balls for the rest of the hour. On top of that, I still feel guilty about separating Tim. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm responding to you. Wait a minute. What are we doing in a restaurant with cloth napkins? Are we stalking Crystal? Well, I guess you caught me, Monk. Now quit blocking my stalking mirror. Randall. Mm. Oh, great. Now you got Unibrow coming over. Happy? Comrade Zombie, you will leave or I will break you. Ah! My only rat now. So, how have you been? I just texted the police. You're so cute when you threaten me. Now you will taste my eye acid. Oh! Who squirts acid out of their eyes? Were you raised in a barn?